candle is put into the lantern, and the moth is left outside, fluttering. Here, from the roof, you can see all of Tangier. Amazing. Those dogs down there, are they that loud every night, Countess? It is the moon. It's not four, is it? Three. Piketty, four days more. Are they stray dogs? Some. As the moon fattens, the dogs increase. I see. Call for prayer. Countess. The Muzen calls the faithful to prayer from the minaret of the mosque. It is a, an interesting religion, the Muslim faith. In the 7th century, sir, the Arab invade and the Berber embrace Islam with the enthusiasm. The Berber became more Muslim than the Muslim. The Berber produced Berber holy men, Berber saint, Berber prophet, Berber messiah, Berber cult, even Berber Quran. You mean they changed it to fit themselves? The Berber reverted back to a purity and austerity of early days of Islam, to the days of the prophet Muhammad in the Arabian desert. Even back before the Arab, who in the course of his imperial progress became influenced by the corrupt tendencies of the outside world. You mean the original natives of Morocco were Berbers? Long time ago, Jacques, the Berber. They are a white race. But the passage of time is a mix, the darker. Mm. The Toreg tribe of Sahara. Still with blue eyes. Hmm. Then uh, there was a Berber language. We still, maybe three million still speak. Hmm. Berber mean free and noble spirit. Berber always a fighting race. Jacques, Jacques, perhaps you you watch something. There's someone there. By those eucalyptus across the road. They were watching us. Moroccan watch everyone. They're very suspicious people. We are foreigners in their country. No matter how long you live in Morocco, you are still a foreigner. There was something familiar about that person. It's too dark to be certain, but I believe it was a woman. Hmm. It's their eyes. They don't miss much, do they? Very little escape. Wait. Wait a minute. Please, wait. Do you understand English? Yes. Good. I want to ask you something. This may sound like a come on, but it, it isn't really. Come on? Well, I, I mean, I'm not trying to pick you up. That's not why I've been chasing you. Ah, uh, you wish to carry me. Carry you? <laughs> oh, pick you up. No, 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 no. I'll get to the point. All right. Well, the, uh... Well, you know, I, I, I mean... Have you ever been to England? You English? No, American. 
from New York? No. I'm... Well, I've lived there, but I, I wouldn't say that I... Look. Ah, you wish to show me something. Huh? No, no, I just... Well, this may sound silly, but... Sound silly? Oh, God. I've seen you before. When I first saw you, there was wind and rain and, and thunder. You seemed to dance to those waves of energy rippling across the countryside. I felt I was living something that was destined to happen. At that moment, I was suddenly aware that I had known all my life that scene would take place. Yes, that is so. You seem so sad. I can no longer tell what is real and what isn't. I have a difficult time following what is happening to me. I seem to have no solid points of reference. I am Lila Ulupi. I'm Jack Flanders. What is it? Do you, too, feel this was inevitable? Is it that that makes you sad? We have a saying. Nobody but the one who is carrying a load knows how much it weighs. And the drums, the drums will come. I don't understand. I am Lila Oluki. A point of reference. I didn't mean... No, you know that I didn't mean that. What do you mean? You are a foreigner. How can you comprehend? But what do you mean? Oh, here's someone I'd like you to meet. Caswell Kelly. I cannot. I must go. Well, where can I reach you? Reach me? Yes, how can we get in touch? Where do you live? You will see me. See. Are they very superstitious people? <laughs> superstitious? They are experts in superstitions. I'd like to know about their magic. Yeah. Everything here is magic. It is how all Moroccan people live. You mean they all practice magic? They all believe, yes, of magic. Sutil. It is drug, herb. The old women oh, are very subtle. With herb, they can cause anything. Your pretty hair, eh? All fall out. Or your white teeth. All fall out. Of course, catatonia, schizophrenia, eh? heart attack, hmm. anything. But why? It is usually for power or for money, which is the same thing. Hmm. So this uh, sukil, that's where they administer they drugs. They put sukil in your food every day. Well, a little bit. Huh? And when you rest afterwards in a trance, perhaps. They then suggest you do what they wish, eh? Like uh, to make someone love you. You use the key. Hmm. With the key, all the resistance falls away. <laughs> wow. Sounds scary. You mean to tell me they're doing that now? Today? Everywhere. Every day. And there is also Sahar. This is the writing of words. Perpetuation of pre-Islamic gods, like cutting off the roaster's throat during the full moon, eh? Mm. No drug, but work as well. They say. That sounds just like voodoo. The casting of spells. This is Sahar. But to the Moroccan, the kill, Sahar, equally effective. All magic. Magic part of everyday living here. Yes, I see. I do not think you see. 
everything is explained by the constant intervention of Allah. I do see. You do not see. When you die in Morocco, it was your time to die. <laughs> it is the will of Allah. So, no autopsy. Uh -huh. I think I'm beginning to see now. Oui, oui, oui. It is murder. Murder. Murder all of the time. Every day. And no questions asked.